Hey, YouTube, it is your girl, Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. Before I get started, if you like this type of content, hit like for me, please. It helps to get the video circulating. And also, hit subscribe. Why not get on board? The Dreams Are a Reality Express. Coming to a computer <laughs> or cell phone near you or tablet. Well, today I want to talk about the importance of encouraging yourself. Before I get started with that, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers of the world. It is a special day. It's a big holiday at um, anywhere throughout the world, I'm sure. Definitely here in the United States, um, the stores are full of the decorations, the flowers, the balloons, um, and mothers, we appreciate you for all that you do. We know some of you are single moms. You have to get it done day in and day out. You make it happen. You are nurturers. You always have the right words to say when we are down and out. Um, and... So that's kind of what I want to talk about for today. It is Mother's Day and I don't have my mom and I'm not a mother. So what, what do I do with this day? You know, I could choose to be down and out. I could be depressed. I, you know, I'm not the only one that's lost their mother, but it's one of those days where I'm like, eh, I don't really know what to do today. Now, my sister is a mom, my older sister, my younger sister is a mom, and my niece, my grown niece is a mom. And here I am, I'm not a mom. So, I mean, I could celebrate them, but they have their own kids to, you know, celebrate with, and it just leaves me just here. So I'll tell you about today, um, what in the world did I do? I cleaned up my house. So Knew I had to do that. I made sure I, you know, mopped and vacuumed and dust and my truck. Um, I haven't had a lot of free time. So I got, you know, went and washed that, washed it. And I was going to vacuum it out at the car wash place, but it was broke. Thank God I have my little hand back. So once I charged that back up, I went and cleaned out my truck. I watched some of the Miami Heat Philadelphia game. I ordered me something to eat. Um, I had some work to do for my old job. I'm starting a new job tomorrow. So that should be exciting. And I did something else and I can't remember. I was on the phone. I had a couple of great friends that called and checked on me. And, you know, I was okay today overall. I was okay. But what, what about the women who are not okay with today? You know, like my little sister just told me there's someone on Facebook her sister, she's a twin. Her sister has a couple of children, but she doesn't have any kids. And Mother's Day is a sore spot for her. Mother's Day is not the best for everyone who maybe grew up without their mom. Their mom abandoned them. Or like me, my mom passed away. It could be a little triggering. We're not saying this stuff to get sympathy, but we have to remember, it's not always good for everybody. And I'm not saying go around and feel sorry for everybody, but some days it can be tough. So for me, I just try to kind of stay to myself more or less. I'll talk on the phone or whatever, but overall, I just try to stay to myself. Um, I don't know. I don't have to worry. Nobody going to look. Ain't too many people checking on me. People are very busy. Remember this. They're very busy. They're selfish. <laughs> I'm just being honest. They are not thinking about you, honey. So this is why you have to encourage yourself. Um, I think what I did today was one of the best things you, I could do was to stay busy. And uh, I'm not going to sit around and mope anyway. That's just not my style. Um, and I'll tell you why I kind of don't do that because I don't want to go down a spiral and then it's lasting for days. So to prevent myself from going there, I just don't. And generally it works. Now, do I have bad days or do I have things that upset me? We all do. We're human. We're all human. But I just refuse to feel sorry for myself because the thinking I had was, um, you know, I have things to do. And if I don't get it done, like on Sunday, 
Monday through Thursday is really hectic. So I'm not able to get anything hardly done besides work, work. So I knew I had to take care of my home and stuff. And um, it is what it is, you know, I, like I said, I'm not the only one without my mom. So I don't want to overdo that. Okay, but encourage yourself. You have to have coping tools where, you know, when things go wrong or bad, that you don't go down the rabbit hole. There are some people, if they have an argument with their boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, a wife, you know, they're calling off work, they're doing binge drinking or drugging, and you don't want to be like that because these things are going to happen and you want to be able to pick yourself up and dust yourself off and try again. I always talk about when I was delivered the news that I had cancer. I mean, I was devastated. They were, and they told me, oh, you may not be able to have kids because once we do the chemotherapy, it will disrupt your reproductive system and all this gloom and doom. I'm like, oh my God, 36 years old. I'm just like, I couldn't even conceptualize what they were saying. So you're saying surgery, and radiation and chemo and more surgery and I'm gonna lose my hair and now I can't have kids and you know you never know what if it spreads what if I die so I, I had to wrap my mind around all of that information and at first it didn't go well I was devastated very upset very sad but after I processed everything I thought about all of these great survivors of cancer. Um, they, you know, and I started reading a little bit about breast cancer. I knew some stuff, but I started reading statistics. 97% of women can survive um, breast cancer. I hope that's the right percentage. I hate throwing out bad numbers, but I know a high percentage can survive if it's caught with early detection. I think that's the, the, the caveat. So that made me feel better. I thought about all these people, I, women I know that survived breast cancer. I'm like, man, I'm in a good number. And it just made me look at the positive side. So I want you to do that. When you feel down and out, like maybe you're someone, it's Mother's Day and you're like, where's my baby? Um, and where, you know, I lost my mom. How am I going to encourage myself for today? You can get busy. I know the day is over now, but you can get busy. Like I knew I had a lot of stuff to do today. I always have a lot of stuff to do, um, but I knew, you know, I had plenty to do. I knew cleaning that truck was a priority for me. I knew I wanted to tidy up my place and I knew I had some um, leftover work to get done. And I, I have a list here of things I need to do. May is a really busy month for me, really busy. Um, I have like a colonoscopy, I have a new job. My clients are on overload. Like I really don't have a space for possibly two clients. So I'm a little bit overbooked. I'm planning a trip for this month. I keep shaking my computer, I'm sorry. Um, I'm planning a trip for this month. I'm taking a course for couples. Oh, I just got so much stuff to do. I'm a little bit overwhelmed it's making me it's not making me anxious, thank God, but I just feel like I'm going to forget something, which I forgot to do something a couple of days ago because I am overwhelmed. I have my list here. So that list really works. So if you, if you want to do the old school way to do list, just write it down, cross stuff off as you hit it. That works for me. But anyway, back to, um, whew, shouldn't start rambling, back to encouraging yourself. So, okay, let's just say for Mother's Day, you know, I don't have my mom. Is there someone you can celebrate Mother's Day with, you know, for next year, maybe an aunt, or maybe you have a good friend or somebody you could take flowers to. That gets the focus off of what you don't have. Well, Tammy, you know, I don't have kids. I want to be a mom. Do you have a niece or nephew? Nieces and nephews, they just warm your heart. When you don't have your own children, I thank God for my nieces and nephews because seeing them, talking with them, giggling with them, it really softens the blow of not having kids. Um, I'm not going to say I'm uh, upset because I don't have kids. I'm like, I guess I'm, I'm so, so with it. I just wanted one possibly, you know, that was my desire. Um, it didn't happen, but maybe once I get remarried, my husband, he may have kids. And if it's like my last case, them boys is grown. They grown. They not checking for me no more. 
but um still a case like that i like that you know so if that was the case like just to say i'm still with that person then they're grown and then you know down the road it'll be some grandkids so i still get to have you know your grandkids so it's not always as bad as we think you have to learn to look on the bright side what do they say make lemonade out of lemons that stuff is true the reason why i'm doing this video is because no one's going to come and save you. If you sit and feel sorry for yourself, you're just going to go further and further, further, further down the rabbit hole. Um, and if it's too much, like easy for me to say, I can't encourage myself. That is why I push therapy so much on this channel. I talked to a therapist and I actually talked to her this week. And I look, I look forward to it. She's kind. She's peaceful. She's sweet. She hears me out. Her energy is just so positive and vibrant that it makes me feel better and safe with her to be able to express, you know, concerns or like I just let, you know, I just named everything I have to do for this month. I can run that by her and it just feels like a release. So don't feel bad about getting a therapist. It doesn't mean you're crazy. Doesn't mean something's wrong. You just need support and if you're down and out and you're not able to encourage yourself this is why we're here to do that and trust me you will feel better after you do that but try not to get down in the dumps when something doesn't go your way create a plan a b c d and getting busy is one of the best cures for a broken heart for depression. I know if you're too depressed, it's hard to do a long list of things. But if you're disappointed or discouraged, you can get busy. And write out, I always say, write out 10 fun things you can do to keep your day fun. I could just name some stuff that I do. I'll clean. Like I told you all, I have a course that I'm working on. So I can always jump on there and it's like a self paced I do Smooly, S-M-U-L-E, where I do karaoke with people from all around the world. That thing keeps you busy for two, three hours. Um, if you're a singer, or maybe not a singer, you still will like it, but it's really a cool app. Um, you can get it from the Google Play Store. Um, I don't know about you iPhone users. <laughs> Old school Android, don't let, don't be laughing at me. Okay, what else do I do? Get on the phone. I talk to a couple of my best friends or my sisters, plural. Um, I have an older god auntie that I could talk to as well. I was on Netflix today watching that movie with Michael Ely that I already seen, but I want to see it again because it had that twist ending fatality. Um, I watched the NBA playoffs. Um, I, some, for some reason, I'm hooked on this a food channel. Um, I love watching beat Bobby Flay. Is that his last name? I think that's right. <laughs> Um, and then I was watching a rat, the rat in the kitchen or whatever that's called. That's so cute with somebody's in there messing up their dish. That's cute. I like Bar Rescue. I like HGTV. It's always stuff to watch. I love Monk. I'm a Monk person. So I watch Monk sometimes. Let's see what else. I like to journal. I like to meditate. I like to watch YouTube videos about motivation. Oh, what else do I do? Oh, I sing. Yeah, I, well, I already told you that was smoothly. Or I'll just like download some of my favorite songs, put my wireless earbuds in, and I just listen to about 12 songs, you know. So those are just some things I do to not even only encourage myself, just to enjoy my day. I just don't want you to feel bad when things are not going your way or if you're having a bad moment. Have a plan A, B, C, and D. And try to look at the bright side of most things and get busy. Take the focus off of you. Maybe help someone else. Encourage someone else. And watch. You're going to start to feel better. Drop me some comments about some of the things you do when you're feeling discouraged or down and out. And how you lift your own spirits. I am Tammy Sharice Walker coming to you from the Chicagoland area. And of course, my channel is Dreams Are a Reality. And I hope you enjoy this video. I'll be back with another video soon enough. Have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.